Whoa. How's he playing down there? What the hell type of capo is that? How does that work? I'm a big fan of that rhythm, the boom tick da tick da tick da da it's just a rhythm that by itself, like even if I just like mouth the rhythm, it's exciting. So, dope. He did it, he did it. I was worried about him playing behind the capo like that. That's what I was worried about, because I was like, I've never seen a lip do this, I don't know if he's able to do it. Sally, it's okay. It's okay, Sally, you can come back. It's okay. I, I th Honestly, I was watching that, I was like, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna have to stop doing a lip bata videos and do Antoine Dufour videos now. <laughs> No more Alib Bata videos for Citizen Shiz. Whoa. How's he playing down there? What the hell type of capo is that? How does that work? Is it a capo that only holds down certain frets? Hold on, I gotta write that down. I did not, I didn't know that existed. It's gotta be what it is. Capo only holds certain frets. Really? Really? Dude, always room to learn. He's doing it the same, dude. See what he's doing here? See how he keeps touching the capo on the fretboard? He keeps touching it. Watch. See how he watch, there's little pins on it that he moves. Watch. It's right here. He keeps reaching for the thing right here on the fretboard. See how he just So what he's and see how he's playing behind the fret? See how he did it again? Okay, alright. I didn't even realize that's what the Antoine Dufour guy was doing. So what that, that, this is a special capo that opens, when, you, when he hits that, it opens the string. So a capo, of course I don't have my guitar on a day I need my guitar. Okay, great. <laughs> it looks like it has multiple settings because he's changing something on it. What? Okay, it definitely has an off and on setting. Maybe it has a third setting, but it definitely has off and on. That is crazy. Because you can hear it. Let's back up. Uh, I'll tell you how I know that for certain, right? Other than just watching his hand move, if you listen. Right now, he's about to play the... Let's back up. He's going to go behind it. He's going to play the second fret on the bass string. And then you're going to hear that note shift to the fourth fret when he activates the capo. Uh, I'm talking about the bass line. See, he keeps doing it. Yeah, it allows him to play in front and behind of the fretboard. Um, the, in front and behind the capo. Oh, maybe it has off-on switches for each string. How have I not heard? 
this thing. What the hell? And so it still has the uh, definitely that off switch is off, and he's reaching behind it to tap that second fret again. Dude, he is so creative. I've said it before, I'll say it again. He is the most creative acoustic guitar player I've ever seen. Ever. Like, the way he changes between song to song is just, it's ridiculous. Like, how have, I've done, like, probably 60 videos by him, 70 or something, and I've never seen him do this. Like, he constantly just has something new that I've never seen. might open all the strings, not just one, but it looks like there's six pins on there. No, 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 help, how? Oh no, did Ellip just, me that's the first, I think Ellip messed up right there. Ow, ow. Oh no, don't, just calm down, shiz, calm down. Calm down, it'll be okay. Did a lip mess up right there, bro? Oh, ooh. Let's 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 listen again. But that's okay if he did, because come on. What guitarist doesn't mess up? He saved it. He saved it. He for sure saved it. I think he maybe missed a little uh, hammer on and pull off right there, <laughs> but uh, I definitely think he saved that one. If he was playing live, nobody would even notice, but because I'm a professional guitarist of 20 years and I'm, I'm a master, I notice things like that. Dude, also you can tell that his strings are new. He changed his strings before this video or roundabout because like you can hear the metallic uh, sound of the strings or new strings. Mm -hmm. 